So today, or this week, we're talking about things that are really big and things that are little. And on the board, I have a giraffe. And a giraffe is obviously going to be a big animal. I wish I could hear what you have, what all you know about a giraffe. I bet it's amazing. But I know a little bit about them. I know you can feed them at the zoo and they grab it with their really long tongue. That helps them to get the leaves um, off the tops of really tall trees. I know they have a, a long neck. I know that um, they have really tall legs. They're very slender, but they're very muscular. They weigh about 300 pounds a piece. Um, they have beautiful eyelashes and a tail that is kind of like a fly swatter and um, swats the flies. I know that their pattern is different from any other giraffe, so they're very unique and just amazing. Oh, and the two horns on the top of their head. They're amazing animals. I also know that they are all, the tallest animal in the world. They are 18 feet tall. So I actually took an adding machine tape and I measured off 18 feet. Okay, I'm going to take you with me. So. I hope it doesn't make you dizzy. I just want you to see this. I put it on the floor so you could see it. So we're going to go over here to the first of it. And let's just walk and see what 18 foot in our classroom would be. Oh, so we're off the carpet and I keep going in between the tables. Keep going. We're going to go to the other, in between the other tables, and we're going to go all the way over to almost the sink. I put the trash can there to hold it down. There's our sink, and look at that. That is a very, very tall animal. If I put it this way, you can see, look at that. It is uh, right at about as tall as our classroom it is long. That is a tall animal. Now, I'm going to take you back over here because I also know that their neck is 8 feet of that 18 feet. So, I'm just going to show you this. This is a ruler. And a ruler is a tool that we use to measure how long something is or how tall something is. Um, it's divided up into measurement units. Um, these are inches. Just like Isabel and Jerome, each of those, that's an inch. And if you turn it over this way, it goes into smaller units. So these numbers are centimeters. And those itsy bitsy bitsy lines, every one of those is a millimeter. <laughs> Super cool, huh? Anyway, this whole thing put together from the beginning to the end is a foot. So I know that it's the giraffe's neck is eight foot. So I'm going to have to measure eight of these rulers to make one neck for a giraffe. Well, I did that already. I took my adding machine tape and I measured out eight foot. Look at this. I have doubled it and I am still going. Ooh, I wonder if that giraffe could fit in our classroom. Well, let me show you what this eight foot, remember this is just his neck. I'm gonna have to stand on the chair. So I'm going to stand on a chair and look at this. It is still, still really tall. Let's go see if it can come inside our classroom door. Just the neck. Let me see if I can get you over. Let me go to the door. And look at this. I'll take the end of it. Put it up here. And its neck could not even fit through the doorway. Thank goodness they can bend their necks very well. But that giraffe would not fit into our classroom. Even his neck would not fit. Isn't that amazing? Now, I don't want you to measure out 8 feet or 18 feet, even though that would be really, really cool if you did. But I would like for you to take, because we're talking about height, how tall something is. So, I want you to take 5 cubes so and build a tower. So I did three and two, and I put them together to make five. And then I want you to go around, and I want you to find things that are taller than your five cubes and things that are shorter, taller and shorter. All right, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have an enormously wonderful day.